Hi guys, welcome to Foresta Studio. Today, I'm gonna do this artwork. Okay, step number one. Inside SketchUp, we're gonna create a soil surface for scattering the grass on. And we're gonna set up a camera. So, get started. Create a rectangle, let's say 10 meter by 10 meters. Okay, then reverse face and select everything, group it. Then if you downloaded the DSSI file, you can very easily find the texture for the soil to drag and drop. Now explode and pick this texture, pan to our rectangle. This we don't need anymore. So the size is gonna be 2000 okay now I'm gonna set up the camera but first let's activate save frame mm -hmm. and something like this one I'm gonna run the test okay now we need to uh, set up the Sun direction that's why we need a an object to get some shadow then sunlight activate this one and freely rotate this is gonna be 20 this is around 40 or 45 is okay yep but it looks way too dark so we can apply a an exposure and increase to 0, 05 or 1 maybe okay something like that to keep it like that i'm gonna re-a a scene very good now we can stop inside sketchup and jump to 3d mask so for the step number two, we're going to export the grass model from 3D Mask to uh, with a scene and then import to SketchUp. So the model you can find right here inside the SSI folder to drag and drop. Open file and always remember to double check the texture pad. Okay, looking good. Nothing's missing. Then select everything. Basically, we have only a push of grass. So, V-Ray menu and V-Ray scene exporter. One thing very important, always make sure to export at the same folder that contain all the textures. Uh, in this case, I set it up already. So, just name it and save. Export selection only. And then hit export. Very good now we have the very scene then come back the sketchup so right here we have a button import proxy or very scene so the same path and then open as you can see, it looks way too big. We may scale it down, but uh, it not affect our scatter blocking. So we need to use another way. Okay, step number three. We're gonna scatter this very scene to the whole surface, which is this one. So first, I'm gonna run a test to make sure everything working fine. Mm -hmm. looking good okay now run the plugin called scatter this one for the host gonna be this one the scatter object gonna be this one and then inside these properties load out this number to four percent generate we surely need more density so this area control the density switch to uniform then reduce this number to 500 
this one as well okay surely we need more randomization so down below check the translation rotation and scale looking good I may zoom out a bit more okay looks very good a bit too dark right so we can increase this number but some area looks way too burn so we can simply apply another layer called Fimit Tone Map. Then we can reduce this one, but it's not necessary in my opinion. Just leave it as it is. Now we don't need this box anymore. Okay, for step number four, we're gonna create a shadow of a tree, something like this, to make it even more interesting. So, again. Uh, let me update the scene and then we just drag and drop this one good I may scared big bigger and then rotate actually now we don't need the scatter plugin anymore so turn it up something like this one and now we're gonna explode And then make component. Okay, a bit bigger. Just play around with it. Yep. very good now I will pick the material of this tree edit in V-Ray and opacity just drag and drop place as instance and uh, uncheck this one then for the diffuse color I would like to have a very black So we got it. The shadow of trees. Step number five is an optional because I'm gonna apply a devil field effect. It's optional. So in the camera tab, we're gonna activate devil field and I'm gonna increase this to a bit higher. To see the effect clearer, uh, as you can see, everything looks blurry. Now we're gonna pick a focused point. okay i mean all the grasses inside this area are gonna be clear yep that's it so turn it back to zero four or zero five let's try zero Perhaps the scene looks way too dark after we apply the shadow. So it can be 2.5, it's okay.
Very good. Now we can start the final rendering for the output. I'm gonna switch to 2K resolution and the quality should be high in my opinion. 4K is mean 2560. Yep. Okay. Final render. For the last steps, I'm gonna show you how to bring your rendering to the next level by using Lightroom from this one to this one. Okay, so I have here the rendering was open inside Lightroom. So first thing, I'm gonna load out exposure way down and the contract a bit more. The highlight goes down, shadow goes up white goes up blacks goes down terrible right i knew it the clarity can be a bit more the haze the same now jump to tongue curve we're gonna pick three points one two and three we level it up in order to have the soft the soft dark area Okay. And <laughs> now it look even more terrible. So, in the separation, just load out the ring tone and immediately it relax your eyes. Magical. Mm -hmm. And down below, we can even uh, apply a vignette effect. Good. The vibrant can be stronger. So now we can see the yellow sunshine. Looking good. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you may find it useful for your job. And if you want to practice along, I leave the link for the SSI file as description below. You may purchase it for practicing purpose. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson. Bye bye.